Hey, Trevor Matthews here, and I want to talk to you about the floating seal inside a Copeland scroll compressor and why it's so important to understand what it does to make sure that that is not something causing the compressor from not running. Behind me, I have the original patent of the floating seal design, and the whole reason why it was designed was to prevent the compressor from running into a vacuum. Scrolls running into a vacuum are really bad. And Inside my hand, I have a floating seal plus a stationary or a fixed scroll. As well right here, here's the fixed or stationary scroll. Here's the floating seal. And here is a little drill port. And as you can see, there's a little, maybe you can see that there, there's a little hole drilled in there. And that, that internal port comes here as the compression. As it starts up, pressure built, pushes up under there, equally pushes this floating seal up against the muffler plate. And this is metal on metal, but it's sealed by oil. So it pushes down and your orbiting scroll can pump and compress and discharge out here. What you need to be aware of though, is the compression ratio. Compression ratio is absolute discharge over absolute suction. If you have too high compression ratio, what happens is this unbalances and separates the scrolls. Actually, the compressor will continue to run until it trips off on its internal overload and then it'll shut down. And you wanna be aware of this, that maybe that compression ratio was too high, 11 to one on air conditioning compressors, 26 to one on refrigeration compressors. If it gets over that, it unseats like that, separates the scroll, and it trips off its internal overload. So you have your gauges on, and all of a sudden the compressor's running and it trips off. You wanna make sure it's not the compression ratio causing that. You wanna dive a little bit deeper. You wanna find out if it's any other internal things that cause it to trip off like advanced temperature scroll protector or the TOD temperature operating disc or whatever it is. You want to make sure that you wait, that compressors cool down and you check and see if it pumps again. Because if the floating seal here is ripped or damaged from overheat or contamination, this will not push up against the muffler plate and it will not be able to force this stationary scroll or fixed scroll down onto the orbiting one. Because this separates, this fixed or stationary scroll separates one mil from the orbiting one. So you want to make sure that it, this is not damaged. But before you deem the compressor failed, and because it, it's not pumping, you want to let it cool down. Okay, I'd love to hear if you had any situation where the compressor wasn't pumping, you had your gauges on, and if you knew it was an internal issue or if it was actually a floating seal that was damaged. The only way to tell is to open up that compressor and look inside it. I would love you to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, hit the bell button, so anytime a new video comes out, you'd get, uh, you'd get it. My name is Trevor Matthews. Let's get a conversation going.